I don't think Tim's ever, ever. changed the yeah. oil, air filter, spark plug, <laughs> anything in his motorcycle. Tinkering with bikes today. Bikes as in motorcycles. Tim is coming over. So I went to get my oil chain stuff and this guy's like, is that a 2017? I'm like, yeah. He's like, is that the last time I had an oil change? I'm like, yeah. And he's, like, yeah. he's the least mechanically sound guy, yet he's the most technical video editor, producer, Tim. We're gonna help him out. We're gonna teach him how to work on his bike. And then Jake is gonna work on a bike. I'm gonna work on a bike. We'll show you what we're doing. We're tinkering with bikes because we use them for elk hunting. That's the only reason I have a motorcycle. That's a new way of doing it. I've never seen. Yeah, this is what I've always done. Here's a bunch of the parts. We got new rubber going on the back, new rear sprocket, new front sprocket, new chain, new fuel filters, new spark plugs, new oil filters, new oil, new air filters. Oh boy, Dan was here. Just popping tights. What can you tell about the about the, about a man about the size of his lens? Yeah, exactly. Not too bad. So on this one, the oil filters right here. You guys, Tim Connor is a wizard when it comes to production, video, cameras, maintenance on a dirt bike. He's a fish out of water. Okay, so fluids have been drained. Re filter has been replaced. We need to add new fluids. Also, there's a sight window. On these things, you, when you tip the bike up level, you want that to be, in my opinion, about halfway. There's an O-ring on this one as well. It looks to be in good shape. So we're getting the new spark plug to figure out which size socket it is. You don't have to mess around next to a hot engine block and burn your fingers. Oh boy. That's not good. <laughs> Come on, Jake. I thought you were good at this stuff. <laughs> Filming. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is forcing your friends into doing something that they're not very good at. For me, that's mechanics, but fortunately Jake Webb what's up? is our main mechanic and the, I'm being forced into yearly maintenance on my dirt bike. There's Mr. Dan. Dan, how's your mechanic skills? Uh, they're not as good as Jake's, but I've been poor most of my life. So I've had to like learn how to do all this stuff on my own, but Jake's way better for sure. But I have, I have a lot of reps. Uh, I keep a maintenance log on all our toys. And I think it's awesome today that Tim's gonna learn how to do this on his stuff. Hasn't changed the oil in his bike. 2007. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun though, like I enjoy doing this stuff. Yeah, I, and I enjoy learning about it, but honestly, it's just kind of my blind spot. So Jake Webb's gonna teach me all about it. Let us know what you guys think about this style of video. Like we just wanna bring you along for the whole process, the whole pie, not just flinging arrows, but a little behind the scenes as well. Anyway, it'll be a fun day. We're gonna work on some stuff, get you guys some shots, and uh, just make a day of it. Okay, so we got new oil. That's oil filter, new spark plug. Pull that. Yep, pull this guy out. We wanna make sure this pan's underneath it. All the black oil's coming out. Right. Let's go pull. You better set that the right way too. Is, no, I can do that. This is a Honda, answer. so righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. But what this, what this is a Honda, so it's opposite. Is it really opposite? No, just don't let, he's <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude, do you work out? What color is this oil gonna be? <laughs> I don't know, but you can. Uh, black and black. Get great satisfaction. I hit the sack. Pull it, right? Yep. Now you are really good at that. What, what did you learn how to use your fingers like that so well? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's not bad at all. I told you, dude, I don't ride this thing. I'm not like you, I don't, I don't abuse my rigs. <laughs> yes, you do. You <laughs> abuse everything. So Timmy's getting his uh, case off so he can get the oil filter out. Will there be any metal in his uh, filter? Not bad. Let's see. Well, oil not look at, watch, grab, grab your new filter. <laughs> Show you guys. Apparently this is why we're supposed to do maintenance. We're forcing Tim to get grease on his hands.
got left to do to your bike? Air filter, uh, top off the coolant, get some new skins, and it skins as in tires, and then I think we'll be good to go. Maybe next time you'll see it, there'll be a bear on the back. Pop, pop, pop. Be a nice rack. We're here for some meat. Jake Webb. We're doing a lot of single track, really steep, slow. Like we're not racing these bikes at all. So I'll show you guys what Tim's sprocket looks like and what um, Dan's sprocket looks like. And if you guys didn't know, the bigger the rear sprocket, the more torque, the slower, um, better for climbing you're gonna get. Big dip. Some grease. That should have some grease on it and got nothing. Cotter pins, need to pull that out. Looks like it snapped off from riding. So, we're gonna, Jake says this is okay. That's a brand new one. You just see where this is definitely getting worn. Like, this one right here, can you see that really good? You can see where those teeth are getting super worn. Let me hold that up. Nice brand new one. All right, so we got these three bolts. We're pulling this cover off. This is the cover for the front sprocket. We're gonna pull that sprocket off. We're gonna pull the rear sprocket off. Ditch this old chain, get a new chain. So this is the old one, obviously. This is the new one. You guys can tell these moons, how they all look like they're angled that way. It should be even like this. So all this material, just wear and tear, that thing is definitely ready to be replaced. What size bolt did you, was that? 30 mil. Let's put that guy on. Doing all of this for preparation for elk season. So we don't want these things breaking down on us while we're scouting. We don't want them breaking down on us while we're hunting. So we're doing all of this ahead of time so we have more time in the field to hunt. Catch you on the next one. I just saw your butt crack, Tim. <laughs> okay, I'm see that again. Was it hairy? Did it look like Josh's? <laughs> I didn't see that. I mean, Tim did. Can you do it one more time from the beginning? I was the F stop. Okay, and. All right, guys. So we got lots of parts laid out. We got two bikes we're working with. Um, kind of cool thing we forgot to mention in the beginning is these both. One of the. Oh, is she giving it to you? Where's that technique come from? This? Yeah. A lot of years. Ooh, that's a good oil filter. You're getting oil all over my shit. Oh, sorry. Figure out your life. Mm -hmm. Are you proud that I had some metal in my oil filter? No, it's just that's why you change it. Is that why you changed Jake? <laughs> Master of the obvious with Jake Webb. This is why you change the oil filter because it filters stuff and the filter's got stuff in it. <laughs>